All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to Baskets Resale. And uh, I bought these cards quite a while ago at an estate sale. And not up until recently that I sold a few of them, I realized, okay, some of these might be worth something. And then I looked it up online and the, um, the, the Luke Skywalker card, one of the cards was going for decent money and a PSA 10 rated one was going for well over seven thousand dollars so i'm going to be looking through all these to see if i have some good condition ones i'm not sending anything in psa but let's just look over these and uh if you guys see any valuable ones just let me know so let's let's start it up got sir alec guinness and george lucas 1977 orange and this is going to be a long video, so if you don't like Star Wars or trading cards, I do apologize for that. Flaming Luke and 3PO. These are the stickers. Got a nice Luke sticker in red. Now, one of the coolest thing about Star Wars that I always enjoyed was the weird-looking uh, creatures that George Lucas and his team created. Um, I wasn't so as much uh, infatuated with the storyline, but with all these interesting creatures like C-3PO and all these different characters that they had, it really sucked you into a whole different world. It's a nice sticker right here. And I did have a couple error cards that I already sold a while ago, um, like with a big line coming in from a different card and stuff like that and those go for decent money and this shows what the whole here's what your completed blue border picture will look like and then yeah, on the back of these stickers you get one part and this is the blue border picture so you can put together a whole uh, art piece of the Star Wars by using the stickers so the way they created this is you were kind of forced to complete the set if you wanted to have the full full-on photo got job of the hut this is a nice one And got Han Solo, the Space Pirate. And the cool thing about these cards is, oh, and this is another one. So this is, here's what your completed red border would look like if you collect all 15 cards of picture A. And then here we go on to the cards again. 3PO's Desert Trek. And these cards are very well known for having part of it cut off and then sides are uneven. So to get a PSA 10 where it's a perfect card is uh, nearly impossible. That's why there's so few of them and the ones that you see out there are going for crazy money. Luke Skywalker on the Tatooine. Where has R2-D2 gone? A 
lot of repeats in this set, but that's fine. And this is a nice scene, the Daring Rescue. You got Chewbacca and the Stormtroopers there. And this is supposedly a pretty good card. Uh, PSA rated one was uh, sold for thousands of dollars because here you have all the characters in one shot. You got Chewbacca, you got Luke, you got C-3PO, you got RTD2, Han Solo, you got the whole crew in card number 83 aboard the Millennium Falcon. It's a nice card. There's another one of it. Yeah, a lot of repeats, but they're not in bad condition for the age. For having to be 43-year-old cards, like the 77 ones, they're not too bad. I don't really see any ones that will go PSA 10s, but... Yeah, we have a ton of repeats here. These are crazy looking warriors, the Tuscan Raiders, card number 107. And this is the scene where Ben turns off the tractor beam. Ben Heights from Imperial Stormtroopers. Yeah, it's a lot of cards. I got all of these for 30 bucks. So. Definitely could not say no to that. Han Solo.
This is a nice one of Luke. Luke in disguise. Number 125, 1977. Here's another one. RTD2 running away. Got this one of the battle, spectacular battle, card number 131. Darth Vader. And this is a regular checklist card. Got the bad guys there. See this right here? It's kind of like an error card. It's got a stripe from a different card coming. So this I'll probably put aside here. People like to collect anything that's different and interesting. These are kind of cool scenes. Looks like they're hiking in a forest there. Fire and stuff. Ewoks to the rescue. There's a lot of these Ewok cards. More Ewoks. It looks like it just doesn't stop with the Ewoks. And we got finally got a nice Han Solo with the gun there. Got Luke Skywalker dressed in black. Nice looking card. Looks like he's in a dungeon there or something. More Ewoks. Ewok with a RTD2. Han Solo, the turkey dinner. And again, the condition on these cards is not too bad for it being 80 or 77 year old, you know, from the 80s or 1977. So.
So. Princess Leia. Forest of Endor. This sounds like a Lord of the Rings kind of title. That's pretty much a fish in a like a helmet. Nice Han Solo card. Again, these right here are from 1983, Return of the Jedi. So we're looking at 77 to most of these are 83. You got Princess Leia when she was on uh, Jabba the Hutt's ship. She's being rescued. Rescue, I guess it's like this. Oh, we got Baba Fett's Less Stand. This might be a good card now because of the Mandalorian. What do you guys think about the Mandalorian movie? That's pretty good on Disney. Um, this is a nice card. There was a really cool Lego set with uh from those these kind of scenes job of the hut it's a nice one Bib Fortuna. Guy looks like he's got some kind of horns ready to pop out of his face. And those are some freaky looking teeth. And this is a nice one. Toward the desert place. Beautiful scene there. Lando. Interesting scene right here. Got Luke.
There's Beto and a Jawa. It's a nice card of Luke. Card number 301. Luke the Star Wars Warrior. It's a nice scene. We finally get a view of George Lucas, the brains behind this interesting movie that just people can't stop watching. You got George Lucas and the main character, Luke. Got a nice side shoe of the Mandalorian Baba Fett right here. It's an interesting shot. Secret of Yoda. It's a nice scene when uh, Luke is training to become a Jedi Master from Yoda. It's a nice card. This one's almost PSA worthy. Some of these cards really are almost good enough to send into PSA. Pretty good collection.
So we look through, we're almost halfway done with these cards, so not to worry, plenty more cards to look at here. Nice shot of Wader on his ship. Some kind of robot, flying robot card, whatever that is. It's a pretty cool scene there. The weapon of light. Embrace the dark side. That's a cool shot. The Starcraft Rebel Transport. The Avenger. All right, halfway done. I'll try try to go to the, through the other ones a little bit quicker. So we got the greens coming up and then we'll start on the yellows.
So a nice shot of Darth Vader there. Card number 217, the Dark Lord of the Sith. Got a nice little, <laughs> the deadly grip of Dark Vader. Wow. Or right, he picks that guy up. Got a couple more. These are very nice condition cards for Nice little Darth Vader there. David Prowse posing. Couple Jawas, guns out. This is another card that went for crazy money in a PSA 10. If you look it up, the cr a creature of Tatooine. These are not in bad condition, actually. Courage of Skywalker. This is another card that in PSA 10 goes for crazy money. And we got a bunch of them. These are not in bad condition. Put these aside. And Bureau.
All right, 37 minutes in. Feels like I'm getting an arm workout. A nice scene. Yeah, it doesn't. I wonder if we'll find that the number one Luke Skywalker card. That one's pretty sought after these days. A nice stormtrooper card. And I think that car right there in uh, Luke on Tatooine, the car that he's on, is actually, uh, we saw it uh, when me and Julie went to a local car museum, the Volo Auto Museum. So if you are looking at checking this out and you're in the Midwest or Chicago area, that car usually is at the Volo Auto Museum because they did buy it.
these are stickers. So these are actually heritage ones. So these are from 2004. So I'm not really going to look through these. And let's see. These are vintage here. These are 1980s, so we'll look through these. This is a cool card. The Wizard of the Bo the Goba got Yoda just calmly hanging out there. So we got a ton of repeats here. it up with this stack so these are the newer ones this is the older ones again Yeah, I got more repeats here. It's a nice Vader card. And another one. All right, so we went over the cards. Yeah, it looks like they have been picked through, but still, still some nice ones in here. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. And if you like this kind of content, resale videos, uh, thrift stores,
basically just vintage stuff. Feel free to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.